Today, the core contingent of the Rancho Santa Fe Flyers went down to the soccer fields to fly an air show with my Mega Miner Capricorn built out of Artec foam. Ed Hanley, uh, one of the Rancho Santa Fe Flyers, served as the anchor to hold the aircraft on liftoff, and you can see from its performance that uh, it has a thrust to rate ratio of almost two to one. Here you see me doing a series of rolls. It took quite a while for me to figure out how to get this configuration to roll correctly, and it turned out I needed to mix in opposite rudder to Elevon, and it does a pretty decent set of rolls now. You just can't do rudder corrections during rolls. Here you see me doing one of my uh, giant loops that you can do with all this excess power. Uh, through this video you'll see some tighter loops and some medium sized loops. The aircraft, even with the droop tips that I've added, still has the classic characteristics of a Capricorn uh, designed by Larry Dunn. Uh, this is essentially Larry Dunn's mega Capricorn shrunk down to about half size. But you can see the uh, vertical performance is just great. Uh, I have about 7 pounds thrust with this 4S configuration on a 3.5 pound uh, aircraft. There you see Ed doing a, another hand launch for me. Here I'm pulling up and trying one of my first square loops. The aircraft uh, is pretty capable of doing almost any acrobatic or aerobatic uh, maneuver. Here I'm doing a double implement. It is uh, extremely fun to fly close to the ground. Here is a inter very interesting maneuver it does. You can get it into a, a flat spiral and it almost turns into a true flat spin but it's very slow and, and graceful. Another one of the uh, Capricorn characteristics that's fun to play with is just uh, slow flat turns. You just have to put in about a third opposite elevon to your rudder input and the platform will just uh, do nice beautiful little flat turns below eye level all day. Here I'm doing one of the tight slow loops that uh, the aircraft's capable of. When I first uh, started flying this airplane, I was flying it about 20 ounces lighter with a 3S configuration, and it was a lot of fun to fly at uh, the low wing loading, but I discovered as I developed it and got it flying better aerobatics that I enjoyed having the 4S power capability. This is an example of uh, one of the added features of adding the droop tips is that now it has very good low speed inverted characteristics and it's very easy to fly with the elevons when the rudder mix is activated. Again, that's rudder moving opposite the elevon direction, uh, i.e. Uh, left rudder for right elevon and vice versa. Here I think I come in for a landing. And here's some added footage of just some inverted passes uh, that I was doing with, uh, I think this is a half outside sort of plop maneuver. Here's a touch w into a hover. The aircraft is really fun to hover. It'll just sit there all day. And then of course you can just accelerate out of it. And this is the uh, last clip, and it's just now another inverted pass up into one of those inverted flat spiral, uh, spirals or circles. Anyway, thanks for watching.